Are you guys looking forward to the CCMAs? <laughs>
Um, in February, I'm going to be out with Scotty McCreary. So there's lots of fun things going on. Congratulations on tonight. Congratulations on this year. And looking forward to everything you're doing in 2022. Thank you so much. We were just saying this. It's been way too long. I kept looking over going, why do I know this? Fake? Why? It's been too long. I know, and I, I'm covered in makeup too, so it makes it tough. <laughs> Man, you got your beautiful wife here. I gotta ask you, what is it like being with this gentleman, with the talent that he has, but the way he is with fans and with people in general? It's amazing. He's the most humble, hardworking guy, and I'm so lucky to be with him. And it's a really exciting weekend because we have the weekend together. We have a two-year-old at home, so we just wanted to kind of have a little bit of time to ourselves, and it's been really nice. You guys seem like the perfect couple. How many was it? One, two nominations, man? I think so, yeah. I, I don't know. Every year I'm just excited to be up for one, so two. We got Male Artist of the Year and the Fans' Choice, and so honored to, to have those. And, yeah. You know, people talk about you know, you know, song of the year and songwriter and stuff like that. But to me, fan choice extremely important, and male artist of the year, man. That's that's a contribution of everything that you've done in both categories, really. It's honestly like I'm, I'm so excited, and I'm I'm up with so many incredible other artists too, like people I look up to and have been peers to me. So I, I'm I'm so excited and honored. It, it's those two are definitely my favorite two to go after. What's going on with 2022? Just dropped a new album. We're going out on tour in uh, February with the Rec Laws. So it's it's going to be crazy busy but fun. Okay, wait a minute. You're going to be with the Rec Laws? That's right. Okay. Please, I want backstage like videos because I know stuff is going to be wild back there. We'll, we'll bring you with us. <laughs> I wish I could be there. Look, I'll let you two of you go. I know you got more interviews. Congratulations. Thank you so much for the interview, but more importantly, thank you for the interviews in the past. Oh, thanks so much. You guys uh, have a wonderful, wonderful night. Folks, first, congratulations. You hosted yesterday. You are hosting tonight. What kind of job did he do yesterday? He did an incredible job. As like a host critiquing a host, I have to say you did an amazing job, Jojo. I was very impressed. I was very impressed with like how like laid back you are because a host needs to, you know, make the audience feel very comfortable. You like throw in the occasional <laughs> joke. You need to be like comedic but laid back and you did a great job. Can I be honest with you? Yes. I, they told me in rehearsal that I needed to slow down because I, I, I kept forgetting how to read. Oh, I, 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 last time I read a book was like um, grade seven or something it's like that. Practice. It's good practice. It's good practice. Okay, so what advice can you give her for tonight? Uh, oh, yeah. uh, I saw the rehearsal. She don't need no advice. Uh, she is a queen. She is the Canadian country royalty. Like, I'm just, I'm just glad to be part of this, y'all. Okay, but here's the thing, because she is looking yeah. like all I thought was Cinderella. I thought Cinderella was walking down the red carpet, but. She has to go with the queen. So again, what advice could you give her to make sure she stands out? Because the queen, oh my goodness, the queen is the queen. Listen, man, there's a yin and there's a yang, yes. and they and they and there is harmony when they are together. And this is the yin and this is the yang, man. They, <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, it, that's that what it is. is. It definitely is. Is there ever a chance that the two of you may ever do a duet? We'll never rule it out, but who knows? Uh, I know. I mean, knows? sign me up. I love this idea. No, I'm, I, ain't, I ain't upset about it either, I'm girl. Not, I'm not going to say no to that. <laughs> I'm not going to say no to that. <laughs> and, of course, congratulations, because last night you won. Thank you so much, Rudy. Yeah, it was an amazing way to kick off this week. I mean, CCMA, it's just so wonderful to see all of our friends. We're, like, always on the road traveling. And, of course, coming out of the pandemic, it's amazing just to all be here in one city and celebrate our country music family. Well, look, both of you have a great time tonight. Congratulations. Congratulations. Love you both. Have fun. Rudy B. Oh, where do I know you from? Hmm. I'm not sure where. Um, I don't know. Maybe like a few nights ago there was something happening. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. maybe so, thinking up something. Yeah. yeah I'm thinking of something. Something starts with Gan ends up with La. Yeah. yeah that's it. Yeah. That was so much fun, man. What was it like for you? It's awesome. I mean, we get to hang out with our country music family, and that's been the best part of this of this weekend because we've missed each other you know and so being able to finally be together again has been absolutely incredible and I, I really do see this as a family reunion and you were looking after my friend describe what you were wearing 
last night. Yeah. I was wearing well, I was wearing kind of like a maroon red suit. It's much like this color that you're wearing right now, actually. Um, so I was wearing that and a and a black turtleneck, which okay. that's you what were, I want to get to. That's what we were getting to. Yes, it was a black turtleneck, and I had some some frames. I had some black glasses on as well. It was like it was a turtleneck table. It was. It was the turtleneck table. Yeah. The, the TT. Yeah, exactly. And my name's Ty, so it all works. All the T's. How does it feel, though, man? Being here, the nominees, I mean, this is performers. I mean, this is family coming back together. It really is. Everything about this, like I said, is family. It is just an incredible feeling. I can't really... There's not a whole lot that's parallel to what's going on right here on this carpet. And I think we all feel that as artists because it really is about hope in the next chapter. You know, we're looking forward to experiencing, you know, those things that we were experiencing before. And while things may look, you know, different, it's progressing into a place of hope and I'm excited for that. What was 2021 like for you? 2021 was very difficult for me personally, just given the circumstances. I hit some, I hit some, you know, emotional lows that I never had. Just I think, you know, under the circumstances, there was a lot transpiring. But you know, I am probably doing better than I ever have been in the last couple of months. I'm um, just being able to see things open and up, and you know, it's a lot of circumstances, a lot of water that's gone under the bridge the last couple of years. But like I said, I'm thankful for hope. 2022, what are the plans? 2022, we have shows on the books. We released a Christmas record just a few moments ago. Uh, like a couple weeks ago. Uh, Joy to the World is the name of it, and so we'll look to probably be touring that next year at Christmas time. We have lots of festival dates coming on, and so we're, we're very excited for everything that's down the, down the pipe. I am looking forward to the next CCMAs in Calgary, and I'm hoping we're sitting at the same table. Who knows? Turtlenecks again. I think so. Let's wear the turtlenecks. Different color, though, next time. There you go. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for Tim, having me. Tim, I think they're screaming for you, man. Are they screaming for you? No, it's Lindsay L. She's much prettier than me. <laughs> hey, look, man. But you make pretty music. You make great music, which is why you're walking this red carpet as a nominee. And we've had a chance to talk this year a couple of times on Zoom. What a year for you, man. Congratulations. Thank you. I mean, I think just surviving <laughs> is a win. You know what I mean? So to be able to get some music out and, and do a few shows and be a part of the CCMA Awards this year has just been, it's fantastic. Talk about it again. What's it called? Campfire? Campfire Troubadour, yeah. So I'm a, I'm a camper. I grew up camping in provincial parks. My wife did as well. We still take our, our kids every year and we pitch the tent, blow up air mattresses. We love to have campfire jams in my backyard and I wanted to bottle that and put it on record. So I recorded it in my basement, largely. Sent the tracks to my buddy in Nashville. He added a few in his studio and we mixed it and put it out as Campfire Troubadour. So I'm pretty, pretty proud of it. What's going on with 2022? Yeah, new music, tour in the works. You know, as the world opens up and gets back to normal, so will we. And, I, you know, I'm so looking forward to that because, as you know, what I do is so focused on the live show. I pick songs, write songs, cut songs as a conduit to get people to a show. And so, you know, I was admittedly I was lost when I couldn't play. So I'm looking forward to getting back to that. Brother, we're all looking forward to you getting out there, man. There isn't a beer song out there. <laughs> That is as good as yours, man. Yeah, and no insult to the rest of them, but brother, you know what the drinking fans want. Congratulations on the success. Thanks, Rudy. Appreciate it, man. See you. Um, man, it's been really fun here, man. And, of course, catching up with you the way I did catch up with you the last time. Please explain to the folks what we're talking about here. You explained. I think no, you explained no, no, it way no, better. No, 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 no. They want to hear from you. <laughs> no. It's got to be you. You. Let's just say I got a surprise performance. How's that? Yeah, that was, uh, so this year I got to sign with Universal and I got to sign with The Core, um, my management company, and I got to put on a little show for my friends, and uh, of course Rudy had to be there, it wouldn't be a show without him, so. How does it feel the way your career has grown in 2021, how does that feel? Man, it feels like what people think is an overnight success, but really there it's been a 16 year climb. Um, I, I, it's, it really takes a village, I can tell you that, and I finally have the right village around me and that is helping me pick the best music and uh, really helping me become the artist that I want to be. And uh, it's all about champions and I feel like I really have those now. This year has been pinch me moment after pinch me moment and uh, the song on radio just keeps climbing the charts. I get to open the uh, the Grey Cup this year, Congrats. which is insane. Thank you so much. It, it's by, It'll be the biggest look, or as they call it in the industry, but the biggest show I've ever had and uh, I'm just I'm looking forward to making our country proud. Well, well just who, Who's that young lady? Just be, Who is that over there? That is the wonderfully and beautiful Tennille Towns. Yes, can, can we drag her? Can we grab her? Can we bring her over here? Here. Can we get, get, get over here? He's like, show me a star. And I said, here's a 
There we go. It is great to see you look amazing. Thank you for saying that. It's so fun to get a little dressed up tonight. That's just it. So what was the preparation? I'm going to ask the both of you. What was the preparation knowing that first red, real red carpet in the last two years? Uh, it's just such a joy to see everybody. It feels like overwhelmingly awesome to be here and running into friends. And like We're like before we walk in, we're taking pictures and saying hi. And it's uh, it's wonderful to celebrate such an incredible year of Canadian country music. Yeah, you? Who dressed you, Mac? I love this. My wife dressed me. Uh, Shannon Ella, she, everything, yeah, that's right, everything is approved by my wife, um, except for this. This was uh, uh, the bay. Nice. I like that. What are the chances of a duet ever happening here? Highly likely. We write songs together, and we, I just, I love Steven's voice. I'm so glad we get to, like, we get to announce a performance together tonight. Which is amazing. So yeah, we're presenting like together. Yeah. This duet year. presented, presenting. Maybe right? a little secret, maybe a little something for the, uh, for the future to come. That's right. This is one of the best songwriters in Canada, oh, hands down. So if I, if I could just ride her coattails all the way to the top. I will take a ride on yours. <laughs> What are the plans for 2022? Ooh, more touring and getting to be together with everybody. My heart is so ready for it. I'm closing out this year on a, a little Canadian run of dates, and my, I just hope to get to keep doing that next year. Okay, well, look, I'll let the two of you go because, of course, you're presenting, performing. But more importantly, we're, we're, we're definitely pushing. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Let's do it. Let's All right, do you it. heard it here first. Fantastic. Thanks, folks. Thank you, brother.